all right in this video we are going to look at the difference between epinephrine and non-epinephrine and this video is prepared for the second round of Elsevier and if you look at the a very basic thing about the epinephrine and norepinephrine the name itself suggests that the epinephrine and norepinephrine the norepinephrine that means there is no methyl group and in epinephrine there is presence of methyl group so the first difference lies itself in the structure so uh, epinephrine and non-epinephrine would obviously have the benzene rings because they are catecholamines and this benzene ring is attached to the methyls as well as uh, the amino group right the difference is that the epinephrine is methylated and the norepinephrine is also a catecholamine so you will have uh, the benzene and you will also have the amino groups and you will have the uh, hydroxyl groups so the difference is that the epinephrine is methylated and norepinephrine is not methylated so the first difference is uh, in the structure and this uh, structural difference leads the epinephrine and non-epinephrine to work in a slightly different way as uh, they are uh, relatively um, similar in their action but there is a slight difference uh, in the action of the epinephrine and non-epinephrine if you look at the secretion from where the epinephrine and non-epinephrine are secreted epinephrine is mainly secreted from the adrenal medulla which is the adrenal gland so around 80 percent of the epinephrine is secreted in the adrenal medulla and the norepinephrine is uh, secreted from the sympathetic nerve endings uh, so here also around 80 percent of the norepinephrine is secreted uh, from the sympathetic nerve endings and rest is vice versa the 20 percent uh, of norepinephrine is, uh, is secreted from the adrenal medulla and around 20 percent of epinephrine is also secreted uh, from the uh, sympathetic nerve endings so this is the difference about the secretion and the third difference is very much important and this decides the pharmacological action of the epinephrine and norepinephrine and this difference is based on the receptors that are called the alpha and beta receptors generally if you take the very basic idea before looking at the differences uh, that the alpha 1 receptors are always stimulatory and beta 1 receptors at the three places they are also stimulatory so you will find beta 1 receptors in the heart you will find beta 1 receptors in the kidney and you will find beta 1 receptors in the lipocytes and uh, you will have beta 2 receptors which are inhibitory they would relax and you will have alpha 2 receptors which are also found at three places uh, which are uh, GIT uh, platelets as well as one more important place which is uh, you know, very much important for the pharmacological action of the epinephrine as well as norepinephrine is called the uh, presynaptic nodules so this is basic idea about the alpha and beta uh, beta receptors so if you look at the difference between epinephrine and norepinephrine pharmacologically so epinephrine works uh, simultaneously and equally on the all the all the three receptors they are alpha 1 beta 1 as well as beta 2 so epinephrine is also called the uh, uh, equality hormone because uh, it uh, works um, e uh, it works equally on all the three receptors which are important the alpha 1 beta 1 and beta 2 the epinephrine so if you inject epinephrine in a person suffering from cardiac arrest so the beta 1 would obviously improve the cardiac condition alpha 1 would, uh, would constrict the vessels from the organs where the blood is not needed and beta 2 would dilate the trachea the bronchial muscle so that the more respiration can be done so this is a very important hormone epinephrine and the difference lies within the epinephrine and norepinephrine here uh, norepinephrine works equally on alpha 1 
it works equally on beta 1 but it works very minutely on beta 2 receptors so the major action of epinephrine norepinephrine is on alpha 1 and beta 1 and it works very minutely on beta 2 receptors so norepinephrine mainly concentrates on constricting the blood vessel so it can increase the blood pressure by the alpha 1 action and it can also improve the cardiac condition but if you give overdose of uh, norepinephrine it would obviously precipitate the cardiac arrhythmias it could increase the blood pressure or if you give overdose of epinephrine uh, it would obviously precipitate the cardiac arrhythmias and by the beta 2 there is uh, the beta 2 would work intensely and it would dilate uh, almost all the peripheral blood vessel and finally the peripheral resistance decreases and it would lead to um, hypotension and hypotension can create several other complications so um, uh, equal amount of and needed amount of doses are required for the injections of the epinephrine and norepinephrine and this was the very minute difference about the epinephrine and non-epinephrine and their pharmacological actions this was a, a very brief about them and thanks for watching